Hello guys, today is the day that I reveal all my secrets and I will show all my pedals and how to get tones like this. So this is my pedal board and I will talk all the pedals in the order of the sino chain. I want you to know that you are listening uh, in the end three sinos. Uh, that is a guitar one that is on the right side, a guitar two that is the left side, and a bass. So it sounds like this. So let's start. My first pedal in the chain is a TC Electronic Poly 23. It's that one, the black one. Uh, it's a tuner, it's good as a tuner, but also uh, has a buffer uh, built in and uh, it's a kill switch. So when I want uh, to get like very silence, I hit the, the tuner and it's good. Also, I want you to know that uh, the Sino is not splitted yet. When the Sino uh, is, uh, will be split, I will tell you. So after the Poly 23, I go on my two PS6 uh, from Boss. Here it's a dive bomb uh, with an octave up and an octave uh, down. So it sounds like this. So here is up, and here is down. And uh, if you listen close, the bass also is uh, affected by these two pedals. All the three uh, sinos uh, is affected by these pedals, so you can hear the effect on the uh, on the guitars guitar uh, left and right and the bass here on my ps6 the second one i split the sino to go only for the bass after the ps6 it's going to my uh dark glass over here so the bass uh, sino is not a fact for the pedals that i will show you uh now and also when I mean bass, it's like the bass is not, it's not a fake guitar because it's only a bass. But let's move on. After the, P, the second PS6, I go to my micro pog from uh, Electro Harmonics. And here I do the octave up that sounds like a fake guitar. So here's without the pog. And here is with the bug. Nice. So after the micro pog, I go to my third PS6. But here is different because this PS6 is not affected by the sign of the bass. So when I use this PS6, it's affecting only the fake guitar. 
So it's very uh, common on the song 10 Ton of Skeleton that you can hear the effect on the fake guitar, but not in the bass. So it sounds like this. You can hear that the bass stays in the same uh, note and it's not affected by this fake guitar. So you can play 10 tones skeleton, it sounds like this. Again, here you can hear that the bass it's not going up. And here it is. So this is the difference. That's why here I split the signal uh, of the bass uh, to have this PS6 affecting only the guitar. Also, it's good to know that the fake guitar is still in mono. I didn't split the signal yet to have like uh, right and left. So every effect here, every pedal is effect both guitar, both fake guitars. So after the PS6, I go to my freak out uh, by uh, Digitech. I saw that my car use only uh, also live. So it's a create like feedback. So it's like this. <laughs> I know that he used the freak out because now, these days, he's not using amps anymore. He's using uh, the quad cortex that it's uh, uh, simulating amplifiers. So I also, also want you to know that I don't use amps too, and I don't use like post effects on my doll. Everything that you're hearing, it's all the pedals. So the freak out, it's good to have feedback since you don't have amps on the stage. It's very cool. Let's hear again. After the freak out, I go to my Cry Babe Q Zone by MXR. Is a fixed wall, and it's very cool. You, if you uh, hear the Royal Blood live, you can see that he he has like a cocked wall, uh, like a parked wall, and it sounds like this. I will uh, turn off the, my micro pog. So without. <laughs> and with. So it's a cry baby, but you can like adjust uh, like the position of your foot if you have like a normal crybaby. After this, I go to my Qtron uh, by Electro Harmonics. So he uses the boss out wall, but it's like the same. Uh, he used to have like a automatic key wall. Sounds like this without the Qtron. <laughs> with yeah it's very cool uh, after the Q Trom I go to my gig rig quartermaster Q M4 is that one here. It's a, a loop pedal that I can insert 
pedals uh, on the loops. And here is the, the secret of the tone. The first pedal in the loop is the MXR Super Badass Distortion, that is here on number one. The second one is the Game Changer Audio Plasma Coil. The third is my MXR Submachine. And the fourth, it's a phaser, it's the MXR Phase 95. So I use this uh, Quartermaster because I can reach, like turn on and off the pedals below the tier. It's very nice to have this because I can save some space to have pedals that I don't necessarily uh, have to turn on and off all the time. So all the pedals is turned on. So I will show you below the tier. Here is my MXR super badass distortion that I use as distortion, of course, but in the first album, uh, the debut album from Royal Blood, I remember that he used the Supersonic 22 as amplifiers. So it's very good have to have this pedal because I have a three band EQ, like a bass, a bass, a middle, and a treble that I can uh, mess up. I use also the plasma coil that has a very dirty and nasty uh, fuzz uh, inside. And uh, also I use a lot my MXR Zoom machine that has like an octave up uh, inside and a sub bass that is very cool. And to have the phaser sound, I use the phase 95. Let's hear some tones. First, the badass, it sounds like this. So let's move to the second loop that is my plasma coil. This fuzz, it's very nasty, has this kind of hairy sound. It's very cool. It sounds like this. So it's very different uh, in comparison to the Super Badass, that it's more control. So in the album Typhoons, you have a lot of this kind of fuss uh, going on. So you can, uh, for example, you can uh, reach tones like this. So it's very cool. And one pedal that I'm in love to is my MXR Submachine. I will open the tier here. So you can see that the Submachine is turned on here. It's this one. It's very cool, the sub machine, because it has an octave up and a sub bass. It's not that nasty as the plasma coil, but also it's very cool and you can get like uh, more controlled sounds. And it sounds like this without the sub bass and the octave up. With the octave up,
but things get very interesting if you roll up the sub here sounds like this And also, the on loop number four, I have my phaser that it's. Uh, it sounds like uh, typhoons. As an example, he used the phaser, and it's like classic. I think he used the phase ninety, but uh, with the phase ninety-five, I can uh, reach the same uh, tones. It's like. It's good to have this looper here because I don't stack all the distortion and the fuzz together because you can have a lot of noise uh, stacking pedals. So every pedal is like separate uh, of each other. After the Quartermaster, I go to my silencer that is a noise gate, it's uh, very useful. Uh, without, you can hear the noise, and with. It's uh, not on the bass, so the bass has a little bit of noise. If I turn off here, it's like dead silence. After my silencer, I go to the Mimic by TC Electronics. I want to remember you that until here on the Mimic or the guitar uh, path, it's not divided yet. So it's like in mono. So all the effects, all the distortions, all the fuzz, all the, the PS6 and everything, it's affecting like both guitars at this moment. But here in the Mimic, I split the sino in two. Before the Mimic, I have two, two paths. That is the fake guitar that is not divided yet and the bass that didn't uh, pass through all these pedals. And uh, it's going out of the, the second PS6 here. So on the Mimic, I split the, the, the sino in two, right and left. And the Mimic, it's a pedal that like mimics a second uh, guitarist. So what this pedal do is like split the sino in two and the second guitar you have like a, a slight difference of like attack, like tuning. And uh, you have like a latency that it's not mono, it's like a stereo. It's like uh, as uh, two uh, guitar players playing together. So I think you won't hear the like very different sound. Here's without the mimic. And here is with. After the Mimic, the right uh, guitar goes here on my custom-made uh, three kill switches. But the left guitar goes to my six-band EQ, 
that gives a little bit of uh, a treble sound. You can hear, you can see here on the last band EQ that I add a little bit of uh, this frequency. So the guitar, it's not sounding the same. If you hear, it's like if you have like two amps, one amp, you use like a more bassy sound and the second amp, you use a little bit of a treble sound as my car uses uh, live. So after the MXR 6 band EQ that is affecting only the left guitar, the left guitar goes here to my custom made three kill switch. So after the sign of the bass left here, the boss PSC6, the sign uh, went here. So at this point, I have uh, control of the left guitar, the right guitar, and the bass. Mm -hmm. So with if uh, with this pedal I can like turn on and off amps. So here's an example. The guitar one, guitar two, and the bass. So I can do stuff like this. So I can control uh, both guitar and the bass here at this point. After my uh, custom made three kill switch, uh, I run the guitar signal uh, left and right to two pedals here that you can see uh, in this camera, but is a JHS buffered splitter that I split the signal in two. So I have two pedals. The right guitar goes in one uh, JHS buffered split and the guitar two goes in another one. So I can split the guitar one, one and two signals and the guitar two in two signals too. After the buffer splitter, I go guitar one, and guitar two here on my Dream 65, and also here on my Patch Bay that has like three uh, three uh, outs that I can run in uh, amps, like a real amps. But uh, I will talk a little bit about this further. So my guitar here, it's on my Dream 65 that is a uh, amp simulator, simulating a Fender amp. All that you heard, it's coming from this pedal uh, about guitars. So I don't use real amps uh, to record. My amp simulator is the Dream 65. I don't use also post effects on my uh, recordings. So it's very simple, it's an amp simulator. What you hear all this video. Also, I have two effects here that is very cool. The first one is a tremolo. If you remember on Lights Out, he uses a tremolo, it's like this. So I have a tremolo here and also have a uh, reverb. So it's like. That is very cool sometimes. 
after the dream, I go, the guitar goes in my canvas stereos that converts my one quarter inch cable to XLR cables. It's uh, a DI box. It's very uh, nice to have this to play live because you can run uh, long cables to the front of the desk. So I record with this cables too. The canvas stereo, it's my last pedal on the chain for the guitar to record. But as I mentioned before, the buffer splitter uh, goes to my patch bay here. That is a place before the dream. So I can run like a real amps uh, live too on, the, on concerts. So I can have real amps as a return for me to play live because I don't want the simulation of the amp going inside a real amp. So I have to place my Sino path before the dream to use with real amps. So talking about the bass, uh, let's recap. After the sign of the bass went to the PS6 to my uh, kill switch custom made here, the sign goes to my dark glass B7K Uter here, that is a preamp. So I have all my bass tones in this uh, pedal. It sounds like this. So as I mentioned before, these two PS6, it's in the sign of the bass. So if I uh, hit these pedals, the bass will be effect. It's like this. As this pedal here that I mentioned too, it's not on the, the sign chain of the bass. I can uh, hit this pedal and the bass will, will be not affected. It's only the guitar. That's the reason this pedal is not in the sino chain of the bass. After the deck glass, I have my XLR cable going to my interface, but I have also a cable running to my patch bay, so I can use like a bass amp too on live concert. So here I have three outputs from the guitar uh, left, guitar right, and bass that I can run real amps. But for me to record uh, the cables that I use, it's uh, XLR uh, going like guitar one, guitar two on the canvas, and the bass it's going out my dark glass. Other thing that I want to mention that it's crucial for the tone is the power supply and the cables. Uh, I, tr I made the mistake before when I start to, to play uh, like guitar and bass to like have sp expensive pedals and cool pedals, but like use uh, cables that it's not that good and plugs that is not that good or, or so uh, solderless cable. So my tip for you is to use good cables and a good power supply. Let me show you. I use the Zuma from Strymond to power supply all my pedals with three Ohais. Again, it's very expensive power supply, but it's worth it. You can get a lot of noise if you don't use like the correct power supply and cables. About the cables, I am using Mogami 2314 and uh, the plugs is a uh, square plug SP400 
My pedal board is a Vertex Tour Compact Mark II. And that's it. So let's hear some tones. <laughs> I also want to mention two pedals that I use a lot is the Boss RC1 that is very helpful when I want to record a song and to get like the proper tone I run the loop over and over again and like uh, start, uh, start messing around with the buttons and of course the cockfight from uh, electric harmonics that I know that he uses a lot. Uh, again, I do not necessarily have to use the cockfight because I have my cues on Crybaby that is almost like the same of this. I can choose a fuzz here, uh, the plasma coil or the submachine and uh, add the cue zone. Here is a fuzz with a uh, cocked wah. So I left this pedal out of my pedal bird, but I can get the tones with the plasma coil and the sum machine, but you never know. Sometimes I, I use the cockfight to record. I will put on the screen now the design of my pedal board and the sino chain. If you have any questions, you can ask me on the comments below. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and check it out all my videos on my channel. See you around.